So hello and welcome to week 24. I'm so excited. Actually, week 24 starts tomorrow, but um, because I had that free ultrasound today, I thought I would go ahead and do it today um, so I could talk about that. And then I also have um, work and stuff tomorrow, so I thought I would just do it today. And tangerines are amazing. Um, so I'm really excited because I just got back from that. I got a DVD and some amazing pictures which I'll show in just one second. But um, for this week, stuff that's been going on, um, not a whole, whole lot of change. Um, more, definitely stronger movement and I could see that from the pictures. Uh, her legs are so long and her feet are so big. <laughs> that no wonder I am feeling her kick me all over the place like crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> um, but as far as like things that are going on, my um, I'm not supposed to sleep on my back, of course, so I'm trying to sleep on my side. So my hips and my sides get so sore and like it's really hard to be comfortable because uh, you're trying to stay on one side and then flip to the other side and it's just, yeah, that's not really that fun. Plus, between getting up to go pee like two times, sleep is not really that cool. So, but I feel pretty rested, so I must have got enough sleep, but it's just kind of crazy how interrupted it is, um, which is strange. But um, I've noticed that I haven't been as starving before. I was like so, like, ravenous, <laughs> like, it would be meal time and I would start eating and then I couldn't stop and I would just keep going. <laughs> But now it's more like, oh, kind of normal, just kind of a meal, a normal meal, and then like a normal snack, and if you hear like crazy growling, it's my two little dogs. I have a terrier mix and a multi-poo, and um, they are wrestling and they are psycho, so at least they're leaving the cat alone though, that's good. Um, my husband has, uh, oh, there's our cat, uh, Mr. Kitterson. <laughs> He is crazy too, but my husband started painting in the room, and so there is progress going on, and I'll do like a little sneak peek of the room, of the color and everything. It's so awesome. I love it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not uh, neon green anymore, so that is amazing, and I'm pretty psyched about it. So that'll be cool. Um, so I'll show the pictures real quick, and then I have... Um, some, uh, something to tell you about fabric. Okay, so, let's see. Look at all of these. This is crazy. This is so many. Um, this is awesome. Um, you can see, like, um, her arms are crisscrossed there. That's so cool. We just got back, so, um, this one you can see, um, Maybe you can't see. Although I'm so bad at this. Um, her legs are like so so long. It's awesome. She always covers up her face though. Like, um, every single time we try to look at her face, this is what she does. And you can see, you can count all of her fingers and see her covering up her face. <laughs> She's like, no pictures, not now. I'm busy. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, and then she like zoomed in and got her legs and then her leg, this is her leg in uh, 3D over here and these are her legs right here. They're so long! No wonder it's like crazy silly when she's kicking me. <laughs> but it's so neat and my husband can feel it too and so when we're sitting and watching TV or something, um, I'll just put his hand on my belly and, um, He's like, whoa, I felt that. She's so strong. That's crazy. He's like, does that hurt? And it, sometimes it does. If she kicks a whole bunch in the same spot, it does. It's like, what are you doing to me, kid? <laughs> but I was excited because um, they told me today, it's still a girl. So that is very good news because her room is becoming so girly. And it's awesome, but not awesome if she was going to be a boy. <laughs> okay, so let me move my snack here. So, talking about fabric, <laughs> um, I am obsessed with HGTV. Like, not everything on there, but 
a lot of the shows and um, things you can watch, just decorating ideas and stuff like that. But anyways, so I was watching this one on doing these two little girls' rooms. They they shared a room and um, they did it like bohemian. And I was like, oh, that's so neat with all the different fabrics. But um, I'm really like super frugal and I'm like so into couponing and doing things cheaply that I'm always like, well, do I already have something like that? Or can I get something like that for a dollar? <laughs> so I remembered that we threw a anniversary party for some friends and I had bought a whole bunch of fabric um, to section off for dancing. Um, and I had always been like, well, what am I going to do with this? And I wanted to think of something really creative. Well, after watching that, it sort of inspired me to go upstairs and find this fabric again, which, um, it's kind of, <laughs> you can see that? It's awesome. It's really big. I have tons of it, too. Um, it's kind of, like, funky, but at the same time, like, lacy and kind of girly, you know? So what I'm going to do with this, which I'm really excited about, which you'll see in the, um, the huge piece, which you'll see in the video later for her room, I am going to um, make a, like an inside curtain kind of shade on the inside where it's just going to be something decorative. It's not actually meant to block out the sun or anything, but just something pretty and girly inside the window. And then on the outside, I'm still going to have those sun out um, curtain. And then also what I'm going to do with the other parts of the fabric is my husband held it up over the crib and I got to see that it could sort of be like a, I don't know if canopy is the right word because you might think of like netting coming down, but I mean like fully attached to the ceiling, coming down like a little tiny bit and attaching on the other side. So just like a little tiny, um, straight, but it's nowhere near the crib. It's going to be like fully attached, really high up. So I thought that would kind of tie that fabric in. It would be kind of funky and curly because it's kind of lacy. So I was really excited about that. So we'll see how it turns out. And if it turns out cute, then you'll get to see on the final um, nursery tour video that I do later. Oh, and tonight I finally got all the stuff to make uh, one of my favorite meals. So I'm going to my husband's going to be really tired though because he got up at like 2 this morning to go to work. But he is going to make um, it tonight. So I'm going to take that too. So it'll be two videos in one day, which is like a record for me. It's amazing. Yay! <laughs> but anyway, so um, those are some things going on this week. Not too terribly exciting. Just um, the ultrasound was awesome just to see her heart and to see that she's doing so good and everything. Um, I'm just so psyched that everything's going so well and that I can feel her and um, it's just getting close. I just want to get her room done and get everything ready for her and um, be ready for that. So anyways, I'll show you Belly and then uh, I'm going to go because it's getting kind of long but I wanted to show you all that stuff. Okay, so this is an awesome maternity shirt that my mom bought me. You can see the belly and the belly. I'm totally pregnant. It's awesome. <laughs> but I'm not like as starved as before. So it's kind of good. And I have no belly buttons. It's awesome. <laughs> but anyway, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll do uh, the cooking video. Bye!